This is Thanos the Snapping Turtle. You guys remember him from the beginning of the channel, like three years ago or two years ago. What if I could give him the ultimate Snapping Turtle enclosure? So let's release Thanos. I love you, Thanos. Oh, watch out, there's a bass! What are you doing, baby? High five. High five. Shake. Nice. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife. I'm gonna be showing you guys what's cooking Wait, right now. Wait, Chandler, are what? you gonna do the video like this? Do you wanna clean up a little bit before? I know, man. I think it was a little bedhead, but I think. Do I'm you fine. wanna just like next episode? Shave your mustache? I think. No, no, no. We're fine. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Listen, what? listen to me. Ow! Chandler, Why don't. Why you hurt me? Don't question me. What is wrong with you? Don't question me. We gotta do this. It's not that big of a deal. It's a mustache. No yeah, one cares. It is a big deal, Chandler. Whoa! Jeez, really? Chandler, I'm telling you, we need to do this right, Ow! right now. What the hell? You're useless, Bara. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Ow. Do you want this in the internet? Wow, that was kind of greasy. Do you no, want I this don't. in the internet? No, we I need don't. to cut that mustache. Let's go. Ow! <laughs> Look at yourself. Is oh. this what you wear on the internet? Shut up. This is how we're gonna do it, okay? We're gonna do it like we do it in Venezuela when the power goes out. You don't have double A batteries in Venezuela? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> we're gonna cut this right now, Chandler. Okay. Stop it with the crying. <laughs> Alright, beautiful people, back to a nice sand area. Water's nice and clear. We have a polarized lens on the camera now, so hopefully you guys are seeing these guys nice and clear. Everyone's hanging out. It's early. It's been raining like crazy now. The whole yard is flourishing. Everything's green and beautiful. Let's see if these fish are real hungry. I'm stomping because they're they're supposed to know when I stomp it's time to eat. And this is my secret little hidden spot right there. Let's get some good old dog food. Dog food and Missouri fish food. Some of the people fish around. Come on. Come on, cheap, 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 cheap. What can I say? I've become a, a tilapia farmer out here in the sticks and uh, look at all, look at all of them. I'm so happy. Somewhere in here we got big old Paku. And the Paku are getting more and more comfortable even though we jumped that dirt bike the other day. Which by the way guys, everyone was freaking out about oil and this and that. There's no oil that leaked out of the bike. There's no gas, nothing. Because if it happened, obviously with science, you would know that oil and gas will go to the surface. It will not sink to the bottom. And there was nothing on the surface because that bike had all of its little notches tightened up nice and sealed. And also, if you watch the video, you'll see we literally got the bike out after like one or two minutes of it being in the water. So everything's good. Also, we have an overflow pipe here and we have consistent water flowing in here 24 seven. So the water's always being changed out and all the fish, as you can see, are thriving. We're gonna close this up. We're gonna see what's going on in the Serpentarium. We actually got a thing called a cool boss, so it's like a big swamp cooler for industrial buildings and whatnot. And that's gonna keep the snake house nice and cool until we get our AC. There's a lot of stuff that we have to take care of over the next five months. Literally, like, it's gonna cost out the butt. And we're gonna need your help. We're gonna need every single one of you guys to help out because it's gonna cost a lot just to get the remodel for the double door, just to get the rebuild of the garage door for FWC. Uh, those are just the simple rebuilds to make the county happy. I actually still have to get drywall for the whole entire Serpentarium, framing for the drywall. I have to drop the ceiling. I gotta get a whole new AC unit for that building, which is gonna cost eight to $10,000. And uh, it's just, it's not gonna end there. We have to do our walking King Cobra enclosures afterwards. We have to do the eight foot perimeter fencing for the whole entire property. That's gonna be very expensive on top of that installation. It's gonna cost a lot. And I'm gonna ask for you guys to help out because I know you guys wanna enjoy this with me and you wanna help build this. And you guys can help just by simply getting on Patreon, buying a Chandler's Wildlife t-shirt, just doing anything you can to support. And if you can't spend any money, just watching our videos helps enough because I'm telling you, any little support is gonna help us with this big situation. It's, I'm not gonna be able to pay for it with my own YouTube money because I have Ruth to pay for it. I have the mortgage for the property to pay for it. I have a lawyer I still have to pay. I have a contractor who I still have to pay uh, just for the rebuilds and whatnot. God knows how much it's gonna cost to actually finish the Serpentarium. But everything's good. Everything's gonna happen. It's all working out. We're literally gonna be able to use this 11 acre property for everything I ever wanted to do. Crocodilian conservation, education, and showing everyone a really good time. I mean, this place is amazing. Look at this backyard, look. Look at this. I'm in heaven in this beautiful place. Ooh, look at this, the red aardvark. How are you doing today? 
I'm doing pretty good. Don't drag me in the leg. Oh, not this episode. What? Oh, and you, my sweet, sweet green mamba. How are you doing? Please don't touch me again. Oh, relax, green mamba. Bera, don't scratch at the door. Look at her, that cute son of a... Who's your good girl? I'll be right back. Anyways, let's go see what's going on in the snake house. <clears throat> the Serpentarium. Because we own the legal name. Come on, baby! Sit. That works too. So as you can hear, the cool bus is really loud! But it's gonna cool down my snakes, and maybe I won't be as sweaty in all the videos. Comment below, more sweaty Chandler while handling snakes or AC. Please vote AC! Buy our new Chandler's Wildlife merchandise, help support conservation, preservation of wildlife, and having a good time. They won't be this dirty. All right, guys. So one of the animals that I have in this room that I haven't shown off in a while is Thanos the Snapping Turtle. Let me grab him real quick. Whoa! Hey buddy, so this is Thanos the Snapping Turtle. You guys remember him from the beginning of the channel like three years ago or two years ago. Look at this, he's become such a little beast. But you know what, with all the things going on, I just don't have time to set up a Snapping Turtle enclosure. I mean, that's not true, it'd be really easy. I could just easily throw a tub together, put him inside the tub and be nice and happy. But what if I could give him the ultimate Snapping Turtle enclosure? I mean, think about it. Where could the snapping turtle go for he would be really happy? You think here? You think he'd be happy in this tank? No! You stupid! <laughs> Pay attention! We have the most extravagant facility in the whole planet. And we want to put all the reptiles in amazing habitats that are naturalistic. So you know what? This is a native turtle to Florida, the common snapping turtle, not an alligator snapping turtle. And you can tell the difference. Woo! You can tell the difference by the ridges on the back and how long their necks are and also the way their face is shaped because the alligator snapping turtles have much big, bigger beaks. They look more bird-like. The alligator snapping turtles also have these ridges on the back that protrude crazily, which look like an alligator's back. Woo! And also the alligator snapping turtle is the largest freshwater turtle in North America, whereas the common snapping turtle only gets around 30 to 40 pounds. This is still a formidable predator. You would not want to get bit by a common snapping turtle. Snapping turtles like this are found throughout North America, Central America, and I believe maybe parts of South America. You can find literally a snapping turtle like this in Costa Rica. Woo! Boop, 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 boop. You're just such a sweet boy. I could kiss you, but we're not going to do that. We're going to set him up in his new ultimate turtle setup. Let's go. He want to take out half of life. Then Tony Stark snapped him away. And now he lives here at Chandler's Wild World. Today, tomorrow, and oh, relax, relax, buddy. So this is Thanos the Snapping Turtle. We're gonna hook him up with the best setup you could ooh, possibly imagine for a turtle. I mean, can you tell what we're about to do? Follow me. Yeah, I could put him in a fish tank. Yeah, I could put my turtle in a tub, but why not put him in a giant pond that's warm year round, full of fish to eat, and he can come and go as he pleases. I mean, he is a native common snapping turtle, so this is not illegal. He can go in here and he can live the rest of his life in peace. And he's big enough where he should be able to fight off anyone that tries to mess with him. I mean, if a bass tries to swallow this turtle, I'm pretty sure this turtle's gonna claw his way out of that stomach, no problem. So let's release Thanos right around the hydrilla, right around the dock. And hopefully, he lives here for the rest of his life. I love you, Thanos. It's been an amazing couple years, and in here, you're gonna grow to be the, oh, watch out, there's a bass. Thanos, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. Oh my God, what's that? Watch out, watch out, there's a water bear, Thanos. There's a water bear. Get out of here. Get out of here, water bear. Uh, let me draw a circle. Stay right here, don't get out of the circle. If we stay in the circle. Oh my God, look, Thanos is right there where she's about to swim. Look, bear, watch out, you're ruining this. This is supposed to be a great moment. You're kicking off the silt. We can't see him anymore. Okay, there we go. Thanos, the snapping turtle, now lives in this giant oasis. What can I say? I give the best habitats to my animals. I just want them to live the best lives possible. I mean, like, he's gonna get huge. Hopefully he lives here for the rest of his life and I can hand feed him off the dock. I think that'll be pretty cool. <sighs> I'm so happy, guys. How happy are you? Comment below. Really? Oh, you're Ruth! <laughs> Watch out, it's just a fake rock. Jeez. Yes. All right, I guess it's, it's not as easy as I thought. Ooh, let's pick some flowers, guys. Ooh. 
Ah, Hugh picking flower music. Knuckleheads are probably wondering why I'm snipping all my hibiscus flowers off, but this is actually one of the most favorite treats of the iguanas, specifically Utila Island iguanas, the critically endangered Utila Island iguana. Stop biting me, or I'll put a flower in your hand and make you look beautiful. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go feed these hibiscus flowers to my iguanas. What are you doing? A treaty of peace. Shake my hand. Shake, and there won't be war. Shake, and we won't have a war. You want a war? Good. Good. Take this as a peace offering. It's a leaf. Your species will learn about it soon. It's not food. Come on. This dog's biting my butt. Ow! Anyway, Cyclora iguanas, which is basically all your bohemian Española iguanas. Española, I meant to say. And uh, the Tinosaurus species, of course, like the Utila Island iguana. You know, this guy still does not have a girlfriend. He is a male. We want to get him several girlfriends. This is just a temporary enclosure. He's literally gonna get a big walk-in marsh, a big mangrove marsh, just like what they would have in the Utila Island, because they're also called swamper iguanas. They love to live in the mangroves and hunt down crabs, crunch them down, rip them apart, and eat them. All right, gotta put in my special combination that took me years to think of. All right, let's feed this. Oh, he's hiding. All right, well, come inside. Come check this out. We have a hibiscus plant in here, uh, but. It's not doing too well. It's gonna start blooming eventually. We got some flowers coming out, some buds. But we bring these hibiscus flowers from around the house that we grow, because not just are they for looks for my house, but they provide great food for my iguanas. He's not gonna wanna bask and come out until that sun pops out and says, hello, happy world. And then he's gonna come out, and he's gonna get some rays, and that's when I'll start to eat. Ooh, I forgot a little bit of hibiscus. Not gonna waste that, huh? All right, so now what we wanna do is lock it up. So it's nice and secure. What are you doing, Barra? You big water bear? Check this out, guys. We can actually make it rain with this new uh, sprayer. Look at that. Uh, some would call this a hose, but we call this a watering apparatus to make it sound more professional. Because if you didn't read the title before the video starts, I'm a professional, and I have advisory uh, from professionals like Ruth. I am so excited, guys. I mean, like, look at this place. Look at these woods. Like, I even filmed in these woods over here. Let's let's run the woods real quick. These are my woods. This is also mine. All of this is mine. This is about like, I don't know, like two acres to the west side of the of the Serpentarium. And it's an 11 acre property, so like, this is another section that I want to dedicate to maybe crocodilians or birds of prey or something. Just look at it. Look at the trees. It's so natural in here. I'm so happy. All my animals are gonna live like they're in a natural setting, and that's what it's all about. Like, we just put Thanos in that big pond. That's what Thanos deserves. The rest of his 30 to maybe even 80 years on this planet. What am I saying? He's probably gonna live to be 100. He could easily live the rest of his life out on that pond, never have to go to a new water source ever again. Never has to worry about drought. Never have to worry about famine. None of that. Just like this sweet little girl. Did you just eat mushrooms? Did you just eat mushrooms? Anyways, beautiful people, I will see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe. Most of all, follow your passion. Do what makes you happy. Me, I love what I'm doing. I love working with wildlife. I wake up every day going, yeah! Sometimes not so much. I need a little coffee for a little pep in my step. But I still love what I do. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon for exclusive content. You guys subscribing to Patreon literally helps the big project of this conservation facility, so thank you. And also, if you buy merchandise, stickers, hats, we don't have hats, why'd I say that? So if you guys wanna support us, buy merchandise, stickers, shirts, anything, it all helps us out with the big goal of paying off this facility, being able to create Chandler's Wild World, the ultimate conservatory for critically endangered animals. I am so happy. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey. And also, if you want to meet me in person this Saturday from 12 to 9 at the Tampa Zoo, Larry Park, we're doing Croc Fest. All proceeds will go towards the critically endangered Gary L. Guys, we've already sold over 600 tickets. They've never done that, especially for pre-sale, let alone after the event happens. They've never had this many people come to a Croc Fest. So let's make this an annual thing. Every year, about two to three times a year, let's raise money for critically endangered crocs, helping push projects. Thank you guys so much for helping me with conservation wildlife. Thank you so much for joining me on my wildlife. I love you. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, I'll kiss you.
don't tell anyone. <laughs> We're gonna do it like we do it in Venezuela when the power goes out. You don't have AA batteries in Venezuela? Shut up!